What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're going to try to get to 1825. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. Here we go. Play E5. And two knights defense. Pretty comfortable here. D3. We see this a lot. I'm going to go with my normal D5 line. Kind of mix it up. Ah, uh, c3, yeah, some people are playing the c3 move instead of the typical castling. But the c3 is a little bit annoying because you can't uh, do anything with your knight, but at the same time, white's knight can't go to the maybe the best square. So um, I don't know the theory here, but I think it logically makes sense to play maybe bishop g4. Um, you know, it looks like white's going to try to play d4, and so I think by pinning this is a probably a good place to start. They do castle, okay? And I'm thinking of a couple things. Bishop e7, just to make sure I don't have any problems with my king and I have, I'm have i gonna have time to castle. Also, if I go like to here, I have to worry about getting chased away by the pawns because the pawn is on c3. So most likely my bishop is gonna go here. It's different if like the knight's on c3, then maybe it's a safer square for the bishop. But in this case, I think I'll just go right here. And I'm keeping my options open on which way I want to castle. It's probably the safest and easiest, but um, still thinking through that. Okay, so he's going to give me the bishop if I want it. It does open up the f file, so I will have to be a little careful there. This bishop's going to be pretty strong in that case. It's still castle, and I think we're okay. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and take the bishop pair. And probably go ahead and castle now. And there, I want to make sure I get some protection on this f7 pawn, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and castle right now. b4. Okay, so I don't know if we want to worry about this or not. Um, it's not like a huge deal, because we can just jump over here and then trade off the bishop, so I'm not really concerned. Um. I'm just considering what happens if I play a move like e4. Yes, um, I'm losing a pawn temporarily, but then I have these double isolated pawns, which maybe I can take advantage of. So, kind of looks like a pretty nice move, actually. Double isolated pawns are going to be easy to attack. If I win one back, then I have another weak target. Also, this becomes an option for my bishop, so I'm I'm really liking this move. Um, the knight can't move. The pawn couldn't move, or I'd take the knight, so white would basically be forced to take me. And then I have the option if I want to trade queens or not. I mean, I don't even have to. I could just leave it, go here. Yeah, I think I think I am going to do that. I think I like the look of that. So let's go ahead and play e4. Like I said, I'm, I don't see any other options. Okay, and now the question is, do I want to trade or allow white to trade into me? I mean, they don't have to trade. I kind of like trading because it takes me closer to the end game. And then bishop f6 looks pretty annoying, followed by this. So I think I will go ahead and trade. Let's go bishop f6. Notice the pawn can't move forward. We've got that blockaded. We'll have the pin here and also... The bishop pair, uh, we, we've kind of opened up the position, right? And even though I'm down a pawn, it's probably just temporary, and we've got some nice targets here. So I'm probably just going to go back. Yes, g4 can happen, but then I can go here. I don't really want to take this because then they're, they're not as weak, right? It's not as easy to attack them. So I think I have to probably go back here. Oh, there's rook d7. Do I care about rook d7? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and go back. And if white chases me back even further, well, then I get an attacker on the pawn, which is kind of nice. Um, bishop d5, okay. Well, this is an interesting position for a couple of reasons. I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking I can just take here is one idea. Now, white could take here. I would attack it. I guess it moves back here, and then I could jump in and trap the rook. That looks like a pretty nice line. Am I missing anything? T 
takes, takes. My bishop's not getting trapped. White have any other moves? Not that look very good, right? You take here, I attack. You got to move back. I hop in here, trap the rook. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So uh, I'm, I'm just verifying. The only other move would be like e5 to block off the bishop. But again, okay, that's actually interesting. E, so hold on a second. Takes e5. I could take it because of the pin here. But what's going to happen is I'm going to lose a bishop. I'm going to get a rook, but I'm going to lose a knight. I'm actually losing two pieces. So let's think through this a little bit here. Hmm. Gotta be. Gotta be a move there, right? What if I go for the the rook? I lose my bishop. I get the rook, but then my knight is potentially trapped after knight a three. But e five is a move that I didn't see before. You know what? Maybe I could just uh, let's see. Takes. I wonder if I could just take here, and after the recapture, however, then I take here, and I, I still have my pin. Yeah, maybe that's the way. Okay, so I think it does work. So let's go ahead and play knight takes before. I, I didn't see that before, but now I think it does work. Tricky, tricky position here, um, actually. The e5 is a nice try, but like I said, I think bishop takes f3 is going to be okay for me. G oh, g4 and then e5? Uh, that's pretty smart. I didn't think about that. Let's see. Now, I don't have to move immediately. I could take here first. Let's say I move back. What? What? Then he's going to play e5? Is that the idea? Hmm. Okay, but then, oh, but then I can jump in. I lose the bishop, but I get the rook. So I think I do win some material. I guess the other way to do it would be to jump in right now, lose this, take this. No, but there's still knight a3. And then I take this. Oof, so interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Lose the bishop, get the rook. I believe I can escape on on uh, c2. All right, I think I think I think it works. So let's go here, and we will go for knight to c2. Oh, okay, he's not even gonna play e5. Interesting. All right, well that's now I just take it. I think, or I take here first and then take it. That also looks pretty good. Which way is better? Um, I'm gonna have to make a decision here. Let's just go ahead and take it. I don't know. Then we'll probably trade here. Does undouble the pawns, which I don't love, but then we have the bishop pair against the knights, which should be good enough. One, two, three, four, five, three. We're still up a pawn temporarily. We can save this one by going back here. But also go here. Wait a second. Does that just win a piece? Does that just win some material? Where's the rook going to go? You can't defend the knight, right? Yeah, okay, so it's going to take here, but then I'm, I'm taking this. Okay, I just saw that. Yeah, I guess that's just the easy way to do it. Okay, so I think we are in good shape now. Let's go ahead and take this guy. Yeah, we're going to lose some pawns, but two bishops. Very, very powerful. We should be able to make this work. Just got to get the rooks involved. This is a little bit, you know, of an issue, but not that much. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and put a rook there. Um, can also go here and back this. Looks pretty annoying. Let me actually do that. Uh, hmm. No, maybe I will do this first. Okay.
Let's go ahead and go here now, I think is what I want to do. I'm defending this, I'm attacking this, because um, I want to use this rook and I don't want to lose all my pawns, so this kind of does two nice things for me. Okay, we could even go rook e8, and how is white going to deal with that? Knight here. Lots of good moves here, I think. Bishop e4 also looks pretty good. All right, we're going to have to make a decision. Which one do I want to go with? Let me go ahead and do this. Probably going to force the knight to go back. And then we can maybe just jump over with this rook. It looks like all of our pieces now are starting to be where we want them to be. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead. Come over here. Yeah, this is feeling pretty good. Look at this. Everything's under attack. Bishops are looking pretty nice. Probably bishop e4 next is going to be a good move. There is, let's see, d6. Do I even have to worry about that? Bishop here. No, he didn't play it. All right, let's go ahead. Go here. And the pawn can't move because the rook. So I don't know how white's going to defend that. Okay, he counterattacks the bishop. But I can... No, I guess I can't take that. Hmm, okay. I'm going to go here. Yes, I'll lose this pawn, but I'll get it back. So it's actually just a big trade if they take. Hey, Peter, welcome. First time to catch me live. Nice. Very nice. All right. I want to, I need to simplify this. I need to trade some stuff off. I'm getting a little too low on time. So how do we do this? Um, how do we do this here? Put the pressure on the pawn. Might even start bringing my king over to help out. Is another option. He's going to defend it that way. Yeah, let's bring the king over. Now it's a little bit easier because we don't have to worry about the knight forks, which always seem to pop up. Go here. Getting ready to come in here. Um, let's see. The easiest way to do this. I'm gonna just come here and get rid of this pawn. I think that's probably the simplest thing. Let's defend the pawn that way, and then we should be in good shape here. Block the checks like this. Okay. Go ahead and I want to position the bishop somewhere else. Oh, wow. I didn't see that, guys. I didn't see it. Okay. Oh, that one, though. I did see that one.
not a stalemate, but we can safely do that. All right. Good game. Uh, let's check the game review real quick here. And let me update this. Okay, 89, 81, about what I was, it would expect. Turn on the eval bar real quick. What is the best move here for black? What does Stockfish want? Oh, knight to b6? Interesting. And then bishop f5, oh. Okay, so you basically take advantage of that c3 move by putting pressure on the d-pawn right away. Very interesting. And if they just go back, queen d7, and you're going to castle and put more pressure on it. Very interesting. I'll have to remember that for next time. Yeah, right around here was the interesting moment in the game. B3. Yep. Okay, so it was, it was played fairly well. Let's play another one. 1815. All right, here we go. The French, French. Let's see if I can play my, my Gambit. We'll give it a try. Most people are not accepting it, but let's see what happens. We're gonna play B4 here. <laughs> and hopefully they take it. You can actually see how this works. Most people are like, nope, I don't want to take it. And they just do, yeah. See what I mean? No fun. It's no fun. Um, all right. What do we do against this? What do we do against this? I don't actually know. All right, we'll play a closed off game. We'll take the extra space here and uh, let's see how this is going to work out for us. A6, again, I'm not really concerned with that. I'll just take with the bishop. Let's go ahead and put my bishop here. The Paris attack. Knight h3, g3. And then f4. <laughs> I could play that. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I could play that. Let's go knight c3. We'll defend it this way. And if they try to chase my knight away and, and win a piece, uh, I'll trade it first. So I'm not at risk for losing a piece that way. Because I have this with check. And that's what we're going to have to do. So here we go. And I'm going to jump over here. And... Probably queen e2 to defend this, maybe, or castling, depending on what black is going to do. And I might try to break down this, this d4 at some point. Right now, I, I think I might be in trouble, but at some point, I might try to do this. Yeah, let's go ahead and play queen e2. I want to have the option to defend this if I need it, so I can move my knight to add a defender to that pawn. Also, you never know when you might want to go over this way. And then I'll probably castle next move, I think. Very weird position. Not a, a typical position, I don't think. Oh, I still have the uh, small board on. Let me do that. There we go. Okay, okay. He wants to go here and attack this way, probably. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and castle. I, because whatever I do next, I'm going to want my king to be out of the center. So let's take care of that now. And then I'm, I'm really thinking... Um, C3, D3... Probably not good. I might have to play d3 first, then c3, but I do want to undermine this pawn. My, my bishop is not happy because of that. 
The D3, C3 is a plan. I don't know what else is a plan. Queen B5. Does black defend the pawn? Didn't even have to defend because rook B8. Yeah. Is that the right plan, though? A4, A5 doesn't do anything, really. C3, the pawn is going to be too annoying. Yeah, I think I have to do this. Only because that D3 move, I can't allow that. All right, and now maybe C3? To uh, unleash the bishop is what I'm thinking. This is going to be a weakness, but I'm basically saying I, once my bishop is open, then it gives me options. Oh, he's going to just try to defend here. Interesting. We do have g4. Very committal move, obviously, because it's in front of my king. But at the same time, that's a very annoying knight. So I might actually consider this. Because if we trade... Black's going to end up with a very annoying queen there. Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead and play g4. Ooh, I'm, I'm actually looking at some cool moves here, too. Like knight f6 at some point. Like, let's say he plays knight h4. I could actually play knight f6. Oh, no. He's going to take first. Ooh. If I take back, then I still have to deal with the knight coming in. But if I take here, I lose my bishop. What if I played f6? Just, just abandoning everything. No, it's not good enough. A little, little bit too ambitious, I think. But I would have to probably recapture or move my rook somewhere. Yeah, maybe that's not good enough. All right, we'll have to take it, I think. I didn't I didn't think about the in-between move. That was a good move. I didn't think about that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this knight. And now I'm not sure if I want to do this or not. Gotta be careful though. I can't go here. I can't go here. Knight is too strong. I'm gonna have to take it. I'm going to lose this. Eesh. What a mess. What a mess. Yeah, that was a nice move. That in-between move. I didn't see that. A very nice move. I think I have to take this though, right? I mean, I guess I could go here, but... The knight just feels too strong. So... I want to defend the pawn. So knight to g3. This is going to come under fire, which I don't love, but what can I do? A yeah, rook a3 would be a good move. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a good position. We're in we I think we're in trouble here. Rook a3 is probably a very powerful move by black. Like really good. This is good too. Both of these moves are going to put me in a bad situation. So what what I might do is try to go on the counterattack here and, and basically abandon this. So like something like this or like this, maybe like this. Since I can't really defend that anyway. Let's let's try to start activating my pieces. You know, if I can get a rook down here, maybe some stuff can open up for me. It's basically what I'm thinking. If I just go here, I mean, this rook's coming in and then gone anyway. Okay, so now at least we we have them defending something, which is is nice. Now I can maybe play rook b3 and I get this dual purpose here. Yeah, that's that's probably good. We can go here, doubling up, putting more pressure on that pawn. 
So yeah, this is this is good for me. That was I think that was a mistake. I think Black should have probably just traded and and came down with their rooks, and it, I don't know what was going to happen, but they want to attack this. Okay. I do have rookie one, but I'm I'm trying to think if there's a a more aggressive move I can play. The rook's gonna take. Maybe I don't want to allow that just yet. Let's go ahead and defend. And I really need my knight to do something useful. It's just not very good right here. I'm gonna defend that way. Okay. King g two that I can use my f-pawn, but I can't even go there. Maybe I need to try to trade queens, because the queen is very strong. Yeah, because he wants to go here, but now I can play f4 and and uh, defend that way. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Totally forgot that was being defended. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. All right. I just missed that one. Wonder if I can Shams, hey, welcome. Wonder if I can go here and, and just try to actually create an attack. Sometimes when you're losing, you got to give yourself a give yourself an opportunity to win. So that, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to give myself something, right? Things are not going well. Um I need to try something. So that's what's happening here. Because then at least black has to be a little careful, and they could make a mistake. Maybe some crazy tactic opens up with the knight and the queen and the rook, right? Um, it's risky still because I have to be careful, but black's position is so solid. There's there's not much I can even do. So this is going to be my best chance. Bishop g5. Wants to trade queens. Yeah. Actually, I can't. I can't uh, stop that from happening, can I? Wow. Okay. Well, um, I guess we have to do it. I guess we have to do it, and I'll have to take with the rook to defend the pawn. Um. Yeah, this is a rough position. This is a very rough position. Pretty sure they're going to trade, but gifted 10 membership. Hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Camille. Appreciate you. Nice. All right, Bishop F4. He's keeping the uh, queens on the board. Interesting. Can I attack that? What's going to happen? G5, wait a second, 92, I'm attacking the, he wants to take with the rook, but I take here, oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, rook takes, I take with the queen, ah, uh, he's gonna, he's going to take win here, um, Man, oh, this guy is sharp. Okay. I 
don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go here because I it looks like the tactics work out in Black's favor. Bams, five memberships. You guys are awesome. Thank you. At this rate, everybody on the channel is going to have a membership pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, Rook takes there. Um, what to do? What to do? I can't do that. Man. Ah. <sighs> There's, and I can't even like do this because the the bishop defends the rook. It's amazing. Like I almost have some cool tactics, but none of them work. Amazing. I guess we go queen a four, and then we try it that way. Probably my best shot. Although on Queen H, no, he can't go Queen H3. He's got to go like here. Oh, he's going to take. Okay. Well, now we just play this endgame and hope that something crazy happens. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. I'm going to double up here. Nope, got to defend that. Tactic doesn't work because the rook's defended, but if that bishop ever leaves, it might. Good news is this is the part of the game that a lot gets difficult a lot of times for some people. We'll see if that's the case with our opponent here. Knights are tricky, so maybe they blunder something. Go here, try to put pressure on the pawn. Keep attacking it. We'll play a3 next. Let's go here. Go here. Okay. I should have traded first. That was not a good decision. Can I even take that? Rook beef. Can't even take that. That's amazing. Yay, 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 yay.
Good move. Oh, it's check. Oh, my. Yeah, good game. Oh, it's very strong. Very strong. All right, let's see the game review. Yeah, 87. They played really great that game. Very good player. Just got outplayed. I mean, there's not anything more to say about that. Let's see the eval bar. So, didn't take it. Let's see. Yeah, I missed this one. And they found that one. And then I was just in a bad position. Okay. I don't think I ever really had a, a moment, though, where I could have done anything differently. I was impressed with this, though. The endgame play was very, very good. That's pretty rare. At 1700, what you find is like a lot of people are pretty good with openings and tactics, and then they kind of like mess up stuff at the end game. This person was like spot on, like literally every, look at this, like every move. I don't know. Very good player. Good game. I, I don't know, I'm just gonna see something. I, I feel like they're underrated. I don't know why. I just feel like they, they should be higher. They played probably better than 1700. Anyway, I have to get ready to go. So we're not going to make it to um, 1825, unfortunately, when you lose. <laughs> um, Hope you guys still learned something at least. And we'll try again next time. It is going to get more difficult, especially if I'm going to keep commentating um, to get to 2000. But... Let me read some comments here. Yeah, let me update the losses. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think that person just played really well. Although I I, I am confused how they're just seventeen hundred. Maybe they haven't played much and their rating is catching up or something. I don't know. Paris attack. I don't know about that. See how I'm feeling next time. What's the benefit of membership? Uh, your me your messages are highlighted. You got a little uh, chess piece next to your name. Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. You feel special, I guess. And it help. No, it helps support the channel too. So that's. Kind of the, the big reason why people do it, I think, too. All right, guys. All five of my losses were due to mistakes. Yeah, of course. Every time you lose, it's due to a mistake. That's that's pretty... I mean, obviously, but normally in a, in a regular game, both players are making mistakes, right? And it's like, who who makes the least amount of mistakes. Anyway, see you guys next time. Take it easy.